What is up YouTube? This is Dan from WTF Productions and we got a review of the Elite Force 1911. Now uh, we got two variations. One is the TAC 1911 and then the uh, World War II 1911 as what we're going to call it in the video. Uh, one we're going to mainly review on is the World War II 1911 but I'm going to mention about the uh, TAC 1911 in the later, uh, later part of the video. Uh, first part is that we're going to talk about uh, what are the features on the 1911. First thing is that this gets about 350 FPS, 345 to 350 FPS and it is CO2 and not propane or not gas. It only accepts CO2 and CO2 magazines only. So that means that the benefits that you get with a CO2 1911 is that uh, you, you can actually use this during the winter um, and then you get a very hard kick. Uh, the next thing is that you get a uh, safety on here and the safety is uh, one, uh, one sided but on the uh, 1911 for, uh, the modern 1911 it is uh, ambidextrous. That means it's going to be on this side and this side. So uh, that's actually very good. And then on the uh, for the safety, you also uh, what happens is that when you're using the safety, is that you can uh, you can't pull the slide and you can't actually pull the trigger and uh, ha the hammer sl uh, hits the uh, slide. Back to the uh, World War II 1911. The World War II 1911 has uh, a uh, standard, uh, what you would get, call the standard uh, World War II aim sight that you would get on the 1911, and then on the uh, 1911 TAC, uh, you only get the uh, three dot system, and the three dot system is actually very good for uh, target acquisition. Now, on the 1911, you also get a beaver tail safety, and the beaver, what is the beaver tail safety is that you can't simply just pull the trigger and hope to God that you can actually pull just from like this, or some idiot tries to pull the trigger without having this engaged. And what you what you have to do to engage the beaver tail safety is just simply just do this and do this. And that's main, uh, mainly the good thing about it, and I actually like it that way, so that no idiot can just co uh, come uh, come around and pick up my gun and just do this. Of course, I'm pretty sure a lot of fields don't uh, try to steal your gun, but uh, you know it's a good, a good thing just for realism's sake. So uh, just for uh, what you would do on the real steel 1911. Now on the CO2 1911, you get 14 rounds in the magazine, and then the CO2 you can get about five to six uh, magazines off of just one CO2. That's, so that's very good compared to a gr uh, propane and green gas. Uh, magazine because usually when you have a green gas or a propane magazine it takes maybe two uh, magazines before you empty out your magazine on a propane magazine or a green gas magazine. Now we're about to move on to the chrono and we're going to see if it actually shoots 350 FPS. Um, we are very sure that it will shoot between 340 to 350 FPS uh, because we have actually done chronos before but we're going to go ahead and do this on camera just for you guys to see. Alright guys, we're going to do the CO2 loading and then we're going to also do the shooting on here. And uh, sh uh, loading it onto the magazine is actually very easy. Mark over here is going to show how to do it and Mark is going to go ahead and do it right now. And what you're going to have to do is also tighten it as fast as possible before that hissing starts. Alright, we're good. And Mark is going to start shooting it. Alright guys, this is going to be the conclusion of the video and uh, just to let you guys know, on the chrono it showed that it was 360 to 370. The reason why it was showing 360 to 370 is because we put in a fresh mag or a fresh CO2 mag and because of that, uh, it's just going to shoot a lot hotter because they're fresh. So, 
that's the re main reason why. So don't worry when you uh, sh uh, when you shoot it because it's going to be uh, a lot a lot lower when you uh, shoot it a lot more. So uh, that's all you pretty much have to do if they require you to shoot a little bit more out of the gun so that the FPS can uh, shoot down a little bit more. Um, so just to let you guys know. This is going to be the conclusion, and this is going to be it for the video. So please be sure to subscribe to Asian with Hat, and I will see you guys in the next video.